Today's topic is walking upstairs can cut your heart disease risk by 20%. Now, we've always been big fans of walking. Uh, it seems to have become a more popular in the fitness world in the last year or so, and everyone's talking about it now. But, gosh, we've rolled out lots of stats. We like people to walk at least 7,000 steps a day as a basic of WWS. But then we did a podcast, when was it, James, a couple of months back, about a study showing uh, 8,500 steps is ideal if you're looking at fat loss. Uh, but this is looking in terms of reducing heart disease risk. Now, obviously, heart disease is a um, massive, massive killer, unfortunately. So anything we can do to reduce our risk of heart disease is is welcome. James, do you want to have a little talk through what the study uh, outlines? Yeah, just looking at it now, it's just very quickly. The headline is, walking more than five flights of stairs a day can cut risk of heart disease by 20%, study says. This is a study from Tulane University, and it says a new study has found that walking up more than five flights of stairs a day could reduce risk of cardiovascular disease by 20%. Now, what's interesting is that the volume of people they looked at, and that is, is that they collected, collected data from 450,000 adults, and the median follow-up time was 12 and a half years. So it's quite a good study. I, I love studies that show that we're in the right direction in terms of data, and making backing up why we're saying walking is so important. So again, it's nothing groundbreaking here. A lot of people may go, duh, yeah, I already know this walking helps you and stuff like that, but it just adds to this flavor. But I think the thing we've got to get across to people is it's not just walking. It's actually walking up and down stairs or up and down hills. I'm a big fan of walking up and down hills because it just it builds up muscular endurance in your legs, strength endurance, all these wonderful features that you need to build up tolerance off long term to improve your work capacity. And it just adds to this level of information. You're cool, we can do it. Now, I don't like the fact that it says that forget walking 10,000 steps a day, taking at least 50 steps, climbing stairs is good enough. I'm not a big fan of that. It's not about that. No, we don't, we don't want good enough, do we? We want, we want better than that. Better than that. But it just shows that walking is healthy for you. It's very good at building cardiovascular capacity, reduces your risk of metabolic diseases long term, and we just add to the fact that walking uphill is better. Yeah, exactly. Walking up up hills, upstairs, but don't, yeah, I think what you're saying is don't just start walking upstairs and then forget the rest of your steps uh, all the time. It's, uh, you know, add, add in walking upstairs or hills or whatever, it's only going to be good. And as we know, James, it can potentially uh, activate your gravitostat, which we've talked about on uh, previous podcasts, the more you walk, especially weighted. If you're doing, we're big, big fans of rucking or walking with a weight vest. Um, it's only going to do good things for your health. It's low impact, minimal risk. So why not do it? And also great for mental health as well. Exactly. And I think it's, I think it's one of the walking, particularly walking up hills or stairs consistently. It's just something to think about. So if you've got the choice of the escalator or the stairs, well, guess what? Choose the stairs. Go, it's faster most of the time because everyone's stuck on those escalators and they can't get past them. It bugs the crap out of me most of the time. So I always take the stairs, go two steps at a time, boom, boom, climb up. And I always think, yep, yeah, I'm getting some basic work capacity and strength endurance in here at the same time, muscular endurance at the same time. Well, you, James, in, in London, when you lived in London, were you one of those people who generally walked the escalators? I, I was on, on the underground. I'd always generally walk the escalators. Yeah, definitely. And also, also get annoyed at the people on the wrong side, literally, who wouldn't let me go past as well. I was definitely those types of people. But it, I just anecdotally for me on the, on the walking and walking up hills. So I've just come back from Istanbul and I was averaging 35,000 steps a day. I walked everywhere. People couldn't get over how much I was wanted to walk, but I got to see more of the city. And Istanbul, if you've never been there before, is up and down hills. It literally is based up and down hills. I was walking up and down hills all day. So I, I covered so much ground every day. But here's why I'm sharing that story. is because I didn't train the entire time I was out there because there's no gym available to me. I didn't have time because of various work commitments too. But what I found is I weighed in at the same weight as I did when I went out there. And I ate, I was way above calorie maintenance the entire week because I was just enjoying the food that was available to me from Turkish Delight to like kebabs and like all the great meat and even even thanks to the guys at team lamb intestines and all sorts like literally as part of the turkish cuisine from goksan and his team at move better institute out there which was fantastic i need to do a whole podcast about those guys they're amazing and hopefully we can do some more work with them in the future but but look again yeah just keep it nice and short and simple walking up flights of stairs is good for your health 
It's also good for your mental capacity. It's also very good for building work capacity. It's why I love making cricketers walk loads uphill because it builds all day endurance. So here's another study from Tulani University showing it's really good for you. Exactly. We love it when it's backed up by data. I uh, hope you found that useful. Uh, like we said, get walking if you're not already and certainly get walking upstairs, get walking up hills and uh, help reduce your cardiovascular disease risk. That is it for today. Please don't forget to rate, review and subscribe. And if you want to find out more about our system of training, go to strengthmatters.com forward slash system.